large tender delicious shrimp mixed with bites of potatoes and carrots and a fabulous spicy coconut curry sauce so easy that you can cook it all in one pan and have it on the table in 30 minutes i'm tess and come join me in my kitchen while i cook <music> I was looking through my fridge and freezer and I realized I needed to use some shrimp and vegetables and decided to make a shrimp or prawn curry. The great part of this recipe is that it is quick and easy. In my pan on medium heat, I added some oil and I prefer coconut oil for this recipe. Added one medium finely diced purple onion, cooking and stirring for about 8 minutes or until the edges start to turn light brown. Depending on how spicy you like it, you can add red or green chilies. I just cut the cap off and leave the pepper whole. Adding two nice large tablespoons of mixed minced garlic and ginger, and you can use the paste. Cooking and stirring for 30 seconds, and then I'm adding in three diced plum tomatoes. Or here I'm using canned diced tomatoes with a little juice. Sometimes you just have to improvise. Stirring, covering, and cooking for two to three minutes or until the tomatoes release their moisture. I'm seasoning with a half a teaspoon of salt, coriander powder, and turmeric, one teaspoon of cumin powder, and two teaspoons of red chili powder, and depending on your brand, this can vary in hotness. Stirring and cooking for one to two minutes, and make sure there's enough liquid so the spices do not burn. Adding in one cup of water and giving that a good stir. This is about one and a half cups of diced carrots that I needed to use. Stirring to incorporate, bringing to a light simmer, covering and cooking for five minutes. You can use any vegetables that you like for this recipe. You want to first cook the hardest vegetables and then with the softest like zucchini that will only take about five minutes to cook. These are two medium diced yellow potatoes. Adding in one can of coconut milk. Stirring, bringing to a simmer, covering, and cooking for 10 minutes. Most frozen shrimp that you buy is in one or two pound bags. This happens to be two pounds of clean jumbo shrimp that I needed to use. And yes, I'm cooking all two pounds in this recipe. This meal will feed 400 people, and I usually serve with a fresh cucumber salad and maybe a slice of bread to sop up some of that curry gravy. This jumbo-sized shrimp will take about 7 to 8 minutes to cook through, bringing up to a light simmer, covering and cooking for 7 minutes. And we're almost done. This is one teaspoon of garam masala. Giving that a stir and cooking for one more minute. And finally topping with some fresh chopped cilantro or you can use parsley. It's ready to serve and be careful not to overcook your shrimp. It is the absolute highlight of this dish. This shrimp masala curry is so easy to make and it's an explosion of flavors. Lots of shrimp for everyone, and the potatoes and carrots really make this a hearty meal. Really no need for rice, but if you must, I don't blame you. I hope you give my shrimp curry a try, and enjoy! If you like this video recipe, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button to receive my future recipes. Please feel free to share my channel with your friends and family. It really helps my channel grow and it is greatly appreciated. And until next time, much love!